There is no bigger game in Spanish football, and they're certainly the two most successful teams with such passionate fans. Stay with us. We'll bring you all the action live from Catalonia as Barcelona face Real Madrid. Well, you only need to look at the history books to see how close this fixture historically has been. Barcelona at home against Real Madrid on this occasion. I'm Derek Ray. Sitting alongside me here on the gantry is Stuart Robson. And Stuart, this ought to be special. Well, Derek, this is a magnificent setting for a great rivalry. Let's just hope we see both teams play at their very best today. What an occasion this should be. Barcelona shape looks like this. Mark andre Stegen in goal. Santi Roberto plays with Jordi Alba in the fullback positions. And the striker today is Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. David Alaba plays with Nacho Fernandez as fullbacks. And the lead striker today is Karim Benzema. And this confrontation is underway. Bale. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Oh, a very fine header, but it wouldn't go in for him. Corner given to Real Madrid. And deciding to go short with this one. And it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, and I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there he's not going to take any messing about here. Sergio Roberto. In possession, Adama. And teammates to play it to. No nonsense clearance. But as we glance at the table, it really is shaping up to be a captivating season, highly competitive, especially at the summit. Well, what a great title race this looks like being. Well, I think it's fair to say he got underneath that just a little bit. Nacho Fernandez. Hazard. Tony Cross waiting to pounce. Well, I thought that could be menacing, but the keeper able to get a strong fist on the ball. The free kick decision goes the way of Barcelona. Well, you have to think, Stuart, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's natural goal-scoring presence could make the difference here. Well, he's been brilliant for them. He's their leading goal scorer, and his general play in the top third of the pitch has been so clever. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. 
De Jong. Given away by Barcelona. Benzema. Oh, he's gone for goal. To Stegen with a great save. Short corner routine. And there it is, the breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, here it is again, and they go short just to get a different angle on the cross. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Back underway here. What sort of response will that goal elicit from Barca? Just hearing that the situation has changed in the Valencia game. So let's join Alex Scott for an update. It's a goal for Valencia. They've scored the opener here with 18 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Oh, good use of the ball. Options in the centre. But nothing to worry about. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. And now here's Aiden Azar. Federico Valverde. The ball with Lucas Vasquez. And close, but offside nonetheless. Frankie de Jong, Pedri, on to Sergio Roberto, Pedri, they've ceded possession, Barca, Lucas Vasquez, Bale, well it looked highly promising but they got nothing out of it. Well, I believe a spot kick award in one of the other games. Let's hear all about it from Alex. Yeah, Mallorca were awarded the penalty, and it only went and hit the bar, but it went in. It's now 1-0 with 26 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Excellent passing. And cross towards Bale at the far post. Well, in fact, a good but straightforward claim by the keeper. They all know their roles as they apply the pressure. Oh, a lovely ball, but not quite what was needed. I really thought they were going to open up the defence. He's going forward well here. Bale. Will he finish? Ball is loose. Well, threat's over for now. Jordi Alba. Aubameyang. Jordi Alba. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Well, getting close to the half-time interval and the story so far, they're not really making home advantage count. Stuart, your take. Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. Well, the ball brought down under no real pressure. Benzema's pass, not accurate enough. Well, that pass easy on the eye. Oh, but brilliantly read to cut it out. It looked so promising. And well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. But it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. 
This looks interesting, but quick thinking defensively. Nacho Fernandez. Azar. Real defensive commitment there. Bale. Now with Benzema. Given away by Real Madrid. Well, no stopping him. Has someone to play it to. Marvellous anticipation. Well, the first 45 minutes have come and gone here in Catalonia. Well, a fine first-half performance by Casemiro. How would you assess what he's done, Stuart? Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half. Well, back underway with Barca hoping to find an effective route back into the game. Oh, great play. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. And Bale prepared to fire. Not away completely. Brilliantly blocked. Here, Emerick Aubameyang. Jordi Alba. Pulls it back. Superb block. Oh, a moment of pure class. Had to catch it perfectly. And didn't he just? Well, let's look at this again. He's done superbly well to pick out the teammate here. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such ready. Great goal. Running again at Wall. <laughs> well, he's got past his man. Well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. More football for you to enjoy from La Liga coming up here on EA TV. It's Barcelona and they take on Rayo Vallecano. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of quality in those two sides. Certainly one to enjoy. Tony Kroos Nacho Fernandez and breaking at pace with Menace and that's a well-timed pass an utterly disappointing cross goal kick and it is substitution time at this juncture not just from one side but from both De Jong still level here but the pressure escalating and then the commentator's curse comes into play and so 30 minutes left for play in this one and a big match in La Liga to savour shortly on EA TV it's Real Madrid and they'll be up against Osasuna well the fixtures are coming thick and fast it should be a good game that hopefully I've not just given it the commentator's curse just hearing someone has scored at the Mestalla, but who exactly? Alex Scott has the answer for us. It's another goal for Valencia. The goalkeeper must take the lead here. Oh, goodness me, off the post. And he did what he had to do defensively. Well, you sense the goal's coming. They're getting so close now, they just need to take one of these chances. Something to worry about here. Firing is in. And I think we can call him one mighty relieved goalkeeper. Well, he can smile now, but that was a big blunder. 
Well, they need to be more positive with their passing. Make more runs in behind the defence, create overloads in the wide areas, and then we may see an improvement in those stats. We're getting the ball forward. And a good-looking ball. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Getting two substitutes warmed up and both will come on here. Well, a dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider. Ronald Araujo. Now with De Jong. Well, we had to interrupt Alex in full flow there. Apologies for that. To confirm, Valencia have scored in that game and they hold the aces presently, leading 2-1. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Clear foul, but a Real Madrid advantage. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Ferran Torres. And does well to keep it in play. Fed over towards the back post. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So, underway again. And it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. And there's been a goal at the Estadio Mestalla. With all the information as ever, here's Alex Scott. It's another goal for Mallorca. It was a poor, poor clearance. And then it was far too easy for him after that. It's now level at 2-2 with 10 minutes left on the clock. Alex keeping us right up to date. Well, Barcelona have to score soon. Time is running out. But these fans can certainly sense a winner coming here. Ferran Torres. Well, a really important piece of goalkeeping at this stage. Well, it's such a key moment in the game. That's a really good save. Five minutes left. Nacho Fernandez. Well, they still have designs on the win. Casemiro. On to Bale. Lucas Vasquez. Oh, that's a penalty. And at a crucial phase in the game. Now to restore their lead here. And that is when you need your goalkeeper. A well taken Real Madrid corner could be so important at this stage.
fired over by Kroos. And it still could be dangerous. Threat over for now, it seems. Good tackle. And offside, unfortunately. Casemiro. If Real Madrid could come up with a winner at this stage, it could be decisive. And the referee brings this contest to an end. It certainly was pulsating. It had us on the edge of our seats. Stuart, your take. Well, it was excellent entertainment. We saw good quality football played at a high intensity and goals as well. The draw is a fair reflection of how the game was played.